Hi, Mark with GoldenTicker.com. On Tuesday, September 24th, 2013, uh, this is the NASDAQ composite up about 0.14%. Uh, uh, you can see this solid uptrend here um, after breaking out of a consolidation area here uh, back in August and uh, continuing into higher ground. Got support here at this gray line, which is the 10-day moving average. Um, so far holding here and uh, um, looking uh, uh, to form a little handle here, uh, which could take us into higher ground. Uh, we did have a major distribution day. Uh, when you look at the volume here uh, three sessions ago, um, not a lot of, uh, of downside action on that big volume. So that's a lot of churning there, a lot of shares changing hand. Uh, hands, but uh, uh, no real damage done. So uptrend intact uh, on the uh, NASDAQ composite. Now when you look at the uh, S&P 500, you can see a little more weakness here. Uh, we've had uh, four uh, down sessions uh, in a row so far, but getting support at that blue line, the 10-day moving average, uh, you'll see uh, yesterday's uh, volume was uh, uh, extremely high uh, for being a down day. Uh, but got support at that 10-day moving average, the blue line. We're well above the green line, which is the 50-day moving average, and you notice that the red line, the 21-day, is going to cross over the 50, which uh, could bring some more uh, intermediate-term traders uh, into the long side of this market. But uh, uh, clearly a, um, an uptrend uh, uh, here uh, with a, a little bit of a pullback, unless uh, proven otherwise. Um, uh, a real test to the downside would, of course, be the 50-day moving average at uh, 1679.50, 1679.50. So um, we're in some nice uptrends here uh, on both the S&P and uh, the NASDAQ composite. And looking now here at the uh, GLD, the gold ETF, um, we've had a, um, a pullback here um, after uh, Ben Bernanke announced that he would uh, uh, keep on uh, printing money uh, and buying treasury bills. And um, in other words, uh, no, no uh, tapering of uh, quantitative easing, which is just another name for money printing. Um, we are still in an intermediate term uptrend in gold uh, that bottomed out here around the 1st of July. Um, an uptrend is, is simply just uh, uh, higher lows. Uh, higher highs and higher lows, and uh, until um, uh, actually uh, our first uh, uh, area of support would be the 125.15, 125.15 on the GLD. Um, uh, that uh, if that holds, this uh, intermediate term uptrend will still be intact, and um, uh, certainly breaking a 123.55 uh, would send us into an intermediate term downtrend. But right now, the intermediate term uh, trend is higher. Uh, of course, the short term trend is lower. Uh, we peaked out here at 137.55 here uh, right around the end of August. And September has been a bit of a pullback, uh, except for that massive update uh, on the day that uh, Mr. Bernanke uh, uh, made his big announcement. So gold, intermediate term uptrend. And here's the SLV, the silver ETF. Same story, really. Um, you know, big move uh, uh, higher uh, here uh, uh, into uh, uh, late August and uh, pulling back in kind of mixed volume. Big update on Bernanke's uh, speech and then uh, a give back, uh, uh, retesting uh, the lows here of 2045. 2045, very critical juncture for the SLV here. Uh, notice the massive up uh, volume. On, on that big uh, up day and uh, um, uh, giving back in, in high volume two days, but nothing compared to the volume of that, of that up day. So uh, let's see what happens here. We're sitting right on the 50-day moving average, uh, getting support down here around the $21 mark on the SLV. So critical juncture is 2045, 2045, very critical here uh, for the uh, intermediate term uptrend of silver. So intermediate uh, term is up. Short term is down, uh, going through a corrective phase uh, um, since around uh, August 25th or so. Uh, so about a month of, of, of a give back here. So uh, that's it, folks. Uh, good luck trading, and we'll speak soon.